Hi, Keller Williams. I am Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty Market Center number one. I help train agents on DocuSign. It used to be DotLoop, and now it's Dot DocuSign. I am going to be sharing some videos with you on the full process from A to Z on how to get working in DocuSign from the agent's perspective. There are some other great videos out there. I've just found that not all of them share everything and I have some best practices that I've been using that I'd like to share with you that I've been asked to share. Um, I am not using zip forms. Not everybody, not all market centers, not all states have free zip forms. Um, so I have committed to using DocuSign without zip forms. If you use zip forms, by all means use zip forms. I am not a zip forms expert and our office, Crispin Martinez, is a, a high level user of zip forms so he would be a great person to reach out to so moving forward for this video this is going to get you set up first step in using DocuSign getting your DocuSign account started um, you'll see over here I am in command I opened a new incognito window to get command um, up and running uh, the, over here on the right side of the screen, you'll see the handout that's going to be at the a link in this video at the bottom of it um, within Connect. Uh, Lindsay in the office, thankfully, she created this document for me. Uh, she pulled some stuff from uh, KW Answers. There's so much good information in KW Connect. So if I was to go over here and do exactly what it has in there, if I type in agent.kw.com, um, it would bring me into command and um, we're going to go up here to settings so you can see over here on this document I have them both up since I've already connected to DocuSign I want to make sure that you see uh, what you know using this document over here on the right as opposed to my screen which will be just ever so slightly different since I'm already set up in it so I go up to my smiling photo and I click on settings here we want to accept cookies so when I'm in the settings area, and when I see DocuSign here, since I am already connected, it shows that I could disconnect the account, which I don't want to do. Um, you can also see which email that you've used in order to set up your credentials. So over here on the right side of the screen, I'm going to scroll down again. This document, will there will be an attachment for it. So you want to find DocuSign on the list um, here within the settings so you have all the different apps that are a part of this I would come into command settings go to applications if DocuSign doesn't immediately come up this is where you could come in and find more applications you can also connect to more apps um, almost everybody's screen though usually has DocuSign on the first page so you would click on connect account for DocuSign a DocuSign connection pop-up will appear you are going to enter your first and last name and the email address that you want to use for DocuSign moving forward. It was stated at one time that you needed to use your Keller Williams email address that is no longer correct. So you want to use the email address, the credentials that you'll be using moving forward. And um, for ease, I use uh, the email address and password that I use for command. Um, but you need to make that decision for yourself. Make sure you write it down though. Write down whatever it is you decide in this moment that you're going to use. Um, you're going to click Send Registration, and then you will get um, more information for the registration um, email. Once you have sent that, um, you're going to get an email that is going to go to the email address that you entered, and you need to accept the invite. There's a two-way verification here. So you're putting your information in, from the command site into DocuSign. You're going to get an email from DocuSign. And then you're going to have to click Activate. So once you have put the information in, um, you will need to click Activate within DocuSign. Again, you're going to be putting in your credentials. You'll have to accept the customer agreement with DocuSign. And then once you have done that, you're going to click Authorize. So you'll come back into your DocuSign account and you will need to click um, Authorize from this page. Then once you've done that, the first time that you go into DocuSign each day, it is going to have you put in your credentials 
Um, so just remember that you need to have them. My computer remembers my credentials, so I don't have to have it right in front of me. But if you don't have yours and you need to type them in each time, go ahead and put that in. If you've gone through this whole process and it doesn't show that you're connected here, go through the process one more time. Um, sometimes the email for authorization is in your spam. For some reason, some people haven't received it. And when they do it a second time, miraculously, it works out for them. If that doesn't work, whoever is the tech support person in your office, talk to them. They usually can figure it out. Um, in some cases, there is a little confusion between your DocuSign account, if you already have one that you paid for, that is unrelated to the Keller Williams command DocuSign account that is uh, a part of command. That is separate from any paid DocuSign account that you have paid for directly yourself. And you will have two separate accounts. They will not merge the two. So sometimes that creates an issue as well. As well. Um, a call to DocuSign can help solve that and or talking to the tech support person in your office. Hopefully at this point you are connected and it says disconnect account because you are connected and then you can take the next step and moving forward. Sometimes the process of getting the email from DocuSign and activating that takes a half hour. For some people it's instantaneous. Some people it takes a little bit of time. Uh, so uh, be waiting for that email and once you finish this step then you can move on. I will see you in the next video.